Hello, this is the Footsteps of the Greats channel. Numerous experts have played an important role in the development of wireless technology. This video introduces some of the most prominent experts and highlights their accomplishments and contributions. These experts have provided revolutionary ideas in the field of wireless communications and have helped build the modern digital society. Their contributions are wide-ranging and include efforts to improve communications technology, increase the efficiency of information transfer, and promote widespread adoption. Their research and development has led to today's wireless communications and has led to modern technology. Robert Noyce, creator of the microchip. An indispensable part of modern electronics is the integrated circuit, also known as the microchip, invented by Robert Noyce. He was born in 1927 in Burlington, Iowa, USA. After graduating from college, where he studied semiconductors as a student, he was directly solicited by Dr. William Shockley, the well-known inventor of the transistor. In 1956, he began working at the Shockley Institute, but gradually came into conflict. He left the institute with Gordon Moore and others and founded Fairchild Semiconductor. There, he worked hard on the development of semiconductor memory and research and development, but once again clashed with the parent company, which invested in him, and he resigned to start a new company, Intel. At Intel, he took over and continued research. He continued research and development of microprocessors, and Intel sold the world's first drum, making Intel's reputation as the world's number one semiconductor company unshakable. Guglielmo Marconi, father of radio communication. Do you know Guglielmo Marconi, the man who is even called the father of radio communication? He was born in April 1874 to a landowning family in Italy. He did not attend school, but had several tutors and acquired knowledge especially in electrical engineering. When he was 20 years old, he read about the technology invented by Hers in Germany in a chemistry magazine and was inspired by the idea of wireless communication. Within a year of his experiments, he was able to transmit radio waves to a point 1.7 kilometers away. Marconi continued to develop his technology, and in 1897 he founded the wireless telegraph company Marconi and Company. In 1899, Marconi succeeded in a public experiment to send radio waves across the Straits of Dover, and in 1901, he achieved transatlantic wireless communication without using existing undersea cables. The company's flamboyant performances and demonstrations led to further growth, to the point of almost monopolizing the radio communication business in Europe and the United States. In 1909, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics and was also appointed Italy's ambassador plenipotentiary at the Paris Peace Conference of World War I. Nikola Tesla, creator of alternating current transmission. Alternating current is a low-cost and easy-to-handle form of electric current used for household outlets, and it was Nikola Tesla who invented it. He was born in Croatia in July 1856. At the age of 24, he studied at the University of Prague, and later worked as an electrical engineer at the State Telegraph Office in Budapest and at the General Electric Company. Although Tesla demonstrated his multiple talents, his greatest achievement was the alternating current device. This device made it possible to bring electric power to ordinary homes and popularize it as a universal energy source. What is so great about the AC system? The revolutionary feature of the AC power transmission system is that the voltage and current flow can be varied. This allows for a higher degree of freedom in the design of machinery, and electricity can literally be utilized as an energy. In fact, he also conceived of devices such as the anti-gravity system and the world system, which are seen in science fiction. In his later years, he also devoted himself to research related to the occult. The Etymology of Maxwell's Demons by James Clerk Maxwell James Clerk Maxwell, the man who created color photography and Maxwell's equations. He was born in Scotland in June 1831. Although he had the misfortune of losing his mother when he was very young, he showed extraordinary talent in magazines and mathematics from an early age. He went to Cambridge University and remained as a professor, making various inventions and discoveries. 
He solved the mystery of Saturn's rings, which he accomplished in 1857, and produced the first ever color photograph in 1861. He created the laws on electromagnetic forces in 1864 and other things that we see in our daily lives today. He also derived Maxwell's equations and perfected classical magnetism. Maxwell's equations describe the state of electric and magnetic fields. Incidentally, he was also the one who proposed Maxwell's devil, which is often used in creative writing. When Einstein visited Cambridge University, he said that he was more supported by Maxwell than by Isaac Newton. Samuel Morse, creator of Morse code. Morse code, famous for its tongues and toes, was developed by a former painter. His name was Samuel F. B. Morse, born in Massachusetts in 1791. Morse was a former painter who opened an art school in New York City and even served as its principal. He met scientist Charles T. Jackson on an Atlantic cruise and observed his experiments with electromagnets. This led him to become interested in the development of the telegraph. Although the amateur Morse had technical problems, he met Alfred L. Avail, whose family owned an ironworks. He offered to pay for and help in developing the invention and obtaining a patent for it, on condition that he share in the rights to the invention. He tried to solve unknown problems, such as attaching the Tuntu sign to words, phrases, and letters, through trial and error. Gradually, improvements were made, and in 1844 the telegraph was opened in Washington and Baltimore, and developed throughout the world. Today, the telegraph is rarely used, but it is still utilized in shipboard radio, self-defense forces, and some fishery radio systems. John Fleming, Discoverer of Fleming's Law Fleming's Law is taught in school science classes. Its developer was literally a man named John Fleming. Fleming had dreamed of being an engineer since he was a child. At the age of 11, he had his own workshop where he built models of powered ships and cameras. In his youth, he went to Cambridge University and the University of London, where he studied under Maxwell. He even became a professor at the University of London. Fleming's left-hand rule was born when he tried to explain things in an easy-to-understand way in his lectures. This idea, which makes it easy to remember electric currents, magnetic field lines, and electromagnetic forces, has spread around the world and is still used in education. He also worked for several other companies and invented the vacuum tube, taking over the Edison effect discovered by Edison. He also created the technology of electrical control and other important parts of electrical engineering. Without him, familiar products such as radios, telephones, and invention machines would not have been created. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. By learning from and sharing their words and way of life, we have a guidepost for personal growth and goal attainment. If you would like to join us, please rate this channel highly and subscribe to our channel. Your one click will encourage us to bring the wisdom of great people to more people. Let's share the joy of being inspired and learning from the footsteps of great people together. Also, if you find the videos interesting, please take a look at our other videos and playlists. See you next time.